compared just to how different this game maybe have felt with just the crowd being what it was and just the whole makeup of this event. Uh, did, did that have any impact on your guys' approach coming into this thing? I mean, we knew going into it that it wasn't going to be necessarily the same environment. Um, so that was a big focus for us that we had to generate our own energy. And I think in the first half we did a pretty good job of that, but in the second half we were pretty lackluster on just talking and communicating and not generating our own energy. Um, and, you know, obviously bigger crowds um, help and they can energize us a lot, um, but we can't use that as, you know, an excuse or anything like that. So, um, yeah, that was we knew that going in. Um, and I thought we executed good in the first half, but we need to be better in the second. Sam, you guys finished non con play seven and four here. Just kind of thoughts on how the group handled it. Yeah, I mean, we went through some some adversity, um, you know, with Derek being out a few games and myself being sick. And, um, you know, I think we wanted to be a little bit better, but, you know, obviously we want, we want all of them. We want to be greedy. Um, but, you know, seven and four will take it. And we're just, we're really excited for conference play to start up. How big was that start where you only held them with three points in the first five minutes uh, yeah. in terms of leading to winning the game? Yeah. Um, I mean, we knew that they were going to come out and they're all five of their guys, whoever they have on the floor is really talented and um, can shoot it, you know, pass it. They share it so well, you know, making extra passes and stuff. So we just wanted to make sure, um, like I talked about a little bit earlier, that we had a lot of energy. We were talking, flying around. Um, and, you know, especially at the start, the first five to ten minutes, I thought we were really, really good at that. Um, and coming out of the gate in the second half, we, we were pretty much the total opposite of that. Um, so would have liked to play a little bit better in the second half, but ultimately winning in college basketball is tough, and um, we'll, we'll, take the, we'll take the W and run with it in the Christmas break. How well can you with the win mentally ahead of a break in that conference play? What's that do for your guys' psyche? Um, yeah, I mean, I think all of us kind of needed this break in a way. You know, college basketball is a grind. It's a really long season. Um, it's nice that some of our guys can, can go home. Obviously, I'm, I'm home already, so no travel for me except a 20-minute drive to my parents. Um, but it'll be good for our guys to get away for a few weeks and kind of um, regroup, or a few days, sorry. Um, <laughs> not a few weeks, uh, but kind of regroup and then and come back focused and, and ready to go for, for conference play. Are you hosting some of the guys that can't get home? I will be. Uh, my parents pretty much are on me every single day about it. Uh, but, yeah, I think we'll have, like, a Christmas Eve dinner, and um, I think Coach will have some of the guys over on Christmas Day, too. So we want to make sure that the guys that aren't don't get the chance to go home, you know, we have a lot of international guys, um, that they still feel, you know, loved and a part of this family. So Over these last couple of days here, how did you see the group rebound after K-State? Yeah, I mean, obviously we went there and, and did not play very well, um, kind of got it handed to us. And, you know, we just wanted to, to make sure we didn't let that topple over into this game um, and kind of close the door on the Kansas State game and, and just grow from it, learn from it. And I think, obviously, we were better tonight.